there's Zunimus in the house. And I wanted to say, even though it's July, I wanted to say, um, happy father, well, if I, I think I, I think I said something, I think I said something like that, but I'm sorry for the late happy Father's Day, but I want to say happy Father's Day, everyone. Today, we're going to introduce you to someone, his name is Talented Dad. I think you all know him. Let's, I think you all know him, though, but I think he has something to say. Talented Dad. I think you guys all met Talented Dad when he went against Alexandria in the little <laughs> funny fight. Let's check that out. I want to say my dad grew up on the rough side of the. I want to say rough side, but I want to say rough in a rough town, and I believe we all know where that is: Chicago, Illinois. Dunk, 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 dunk. Let's get a picture. Let's get the picture. I think you've also lost all the last last thing. So talented to dad was probably was probably the time when he was eating those bojango eating that bojangos. Bo bojangle. Like when he was eating bojangles. And that's when I was doing my little wood project. <laughs> Let's look at that. I wanna say talented dad is Father of the Year back. Speaking of grand grandparents grandparents. Let's talk, let's check out the, um, let's check out the one with Talent Jank and Kiwi Mango Jam. He's got the hiccups. Grandpa. 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 Anyway, well, we have to, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I wanted to say happy Father's Day, everyone. And also, uh, also, happy Father's Day, Talented Dad. Also, um, happy Juneteenth, but I didn't already say that. Yo, Zerson's Universe in the house. Um, today we're gonna talk about gas stations, or as I like to call them, gas stations. We're gonna show some pictures and hear some good music. Anyway, I put I chose three cities: Augusta, Georgia; Statesboro, Georgia; and Fayetteville, North Carolina. Anyway, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy them, please, please do, please do.
Aya and Marcus Sosian's back. Anyway, I wanted to say, okay, so since we looked at the gas stations and enjoyed the music, pro, hopefully, I wanted to say that, so here's a good idea for, here's a good idea. So you know how there, you could put gas in a car? Even I'm pretty sure everyone else had this idea. Anyway, so you know you put you put gas in a car, right? How about let's make an invention that you can put water in the car? You can use rivers and creeks and oceans and whatnot. And, you, and then I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, gas stations, we're going to run out of business. Nope. Actually, they can start selling it. Because, I mean, I, I don't I don't, I don't, don't know. I mean, I think there'll, I think there'll be people around small. It's polluting to do that. So, and, and also, I want to say, if you're selling water for it, 50 cents. 50 cents. I mean, come, come on. 50 cents at least. Or, if you, or, or like, you know, if you're people who's not actually not near a river, like right then and there, and that, near a gas station. Boom. But yeah. 50 cents would be the max, okay? I mean, let's let's not be that. Let's not be that harm. Let's not be heartless. Anyway, let's check out some creeks that I probably that I saw while I was looking at the gas. We took pictures of the gas station. All right. This is probably the last time you're going to see me, so. Oh, wait, one more thing. All those all the gas station pictures you saw, those were taken, like, I, I want to Google Maps and I've been in the tea. Anyway, and some of those pictures were taken, like, a 20... 2019 or 2020 so you know there's not i mean they're not to now date some of them are not today's gas station some of them probably changed the names a anyway but anyway all right so just in us out hope you enjoy the music see you in the next video today today we're gonna to be talking about technology or as I like to call it technology anyway we have a lot of tech in the world right now like for example like well right now you're being recorded on tech a phone my phone for the fact that or we have we have my laptop there's a lot of tech going on right now. I'm, I was part, today was my last day, but I was part of the sci, it's part of the cyber academy, but like a, something like that. Anyway, so they taught me about how to use a micro bit and whatnot. You know, it's probably best for me to show you. Hold on, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Hello, everyone. Well, I want to show you how, for my cyber pro project, I want to show you how to um, put the micro bit into the computer and you show a little image on the LED lights. The, right, these 20, 25 li lights are LED, called LED lights. Anyway, so to connect them into your computer, what you must do is that you, in, in your micro bit right here, you have to grab your battery right here and put it in to this little slot. It's like a charging station. <laughs> make sure you have it the right way and also make sure you don't do not jam it in be very very gentle because it's a little hole anyway once you have it in there by your computer of what sorts you must grab this side and plug it in to the computer it's like it's like you're plugging your phone in like I said be careful because you do not want to break anything and voila it is in. You know, it is on. Your LED lights on. Now, how to produ produce said, or how to make said, um, now to make something more than this image, we have to put, we have to put an image, we have to put a code in here. 
luckily for us, we have a code right here. We have a code right here that we can plug in. For me to put said code in there, I must eat. I have two websites I can go to. Make code microbit, which is make code microbit, or Python. I choose make code microbit. And voila. Now what you must do is now what you must do is that you go to make code microbit and you can t plug in you can make a um you can make a little project name. I chose Zocean Zooniverse. And then when you get here, you must switch from blocks to JavaScript. Which which is on now. Anyway, so the code we have just the code I have just used, we can type I'll type it in and then what I want to do after that is click down what I must do after that is click download right here. Or actually click this, click pair device, then download. Once I put in set source code in, it'll something will pop up. Plus I also if I have any errors, it'll pop up right down here down here okay well let me put the source code in and check my errors just check any errors and i'll show you the image we'll be right back minutes later it worked everyone this is what pops up on your micro bit right here thanks to me using this code oh by the way i changed to python editor it was actually kind of a lot easier but i changed to python Editor. Thanks to using this code, I was able to, I was able to um, show, I w it was able to show a message. So, looks to me it says, "Happy face, he hello, um, world, hello world." Yeah, happy face, hello world. And it, and for it to flash here, all I had to do was click, all I had to do was click connect. It was a little connect. It asked me to. Con it was asked me to connect to this, to this little, like a little flash. And then all I had to do was click flash, and it pop, and it pops up right here. Well, and that, and that's how you do it on my on P Python micro bit. Same kind. Same way goes to, um, same way goes to my make code. Except you click. You have to pair the device. Well, all right, all right. Thank you. Tech is, um, is being used a lot around town. Like I said, Zek. Well, you guys know how I was talking about the gas station situation. <laughs> gas station situation. Anyway, I was talking about that. I was trying to say that tech could be used for, um, tech could be used for that. Like, um, we can, like, you know how there's already Priuses to save the world because they use electronics? Well, boom. That's something else you can do. It could also connect with gas and whatnot. And robots and whatever. You know, not, apparently everyone always predicts that, everyone always predicts that, um, that tech is going to be, it's going to be all over the future. Like, shoot. Let me actually show you, I know two, two shows, and a, I think a movie and a show, I'll show you a movie and a show that I know. Hold on. Alright, seeing those two definitions, some of the stuff was actually not that's a long ago. Ready Player One came out in 2018 and the Jetsons came out since the 70s. I'm pretty sure the Jetsons probably predicted that. Um like 2020. Drones and planes and well, not planes, but drones will be everywhere. Sadly that has not came out yet. But I've seen that drones are trying to come in as a play out there now. Shoot. We got all these Apple watches. New phones, tablets, you know, like if scientists can make that type of stuff, they can make stuff like, um, they can make stuff like, um, you know, that they can make, like, cars that, that can run off electricity, and more cars that can run off electricity, and also water. Like, you know, and then, like I said, since I said technology and gas stations, I was going to call, things should be called, I feel like the company should call it Zach's Water um, Zinnerman. It's weird, it's a weird saying, but you know what I mean, you know? Of course, it sounds weird, but when you say it a lot, everyone's like, oh my god. It's so just universe. Like, first I'm gonna say, where did you get that name from? But when you hear it a lot, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, it's kind of, kind of got used to it. 
piano. But yeah, I want to say, I mean, like, look at Rick. Look at Rick from Rick and Morty. Look at him. Like, he has technology everywhere. I mean, hmm. it's like, it's like electronics. His power grill was even just like normally come for protection. Everyone likes to hide in a bunker. Like, yeah, like, that dude actually protect the whole house with a bunch of armor. But, you know. Pretty amazing, it's pretty amazing how you see stuff, how you look at it. Now the problem is with computers, you got viruses, like, like you, you know, viruses, like, and, and like I realized that, <laughs> here's a little funny story my sister told me, she said, well Crazy Kid told me, she said, if you want to get a computer, well don't, don't ever do this kids, do not ever do this, you will get sued, like, Bad. Anyway, my sister said, Mark, um, so do you want a computer that has a, um, do you want to get a computer that has YouTube on it? Because I had a school computer. What you have to do is, you can, like, create a malware on it, and then they'll, and then it'll be hard to delete. So they'll just give you a new computer. Don't ever try this. I mean, it was a little practical joke. It wasn't something I was going to, I didn't do it. Actually, I didn't do it because eventually, because, you know, I said, if some I didn't do it because for some reason my computer just never turned back on. I mean, normally a malware would just like your computer would just be slow, but you know, um, my computer just never turned on. I didn't even do, I didn't I didn't do anything to it, so I'm not exactly sure what happened. But I got a computer that had YouTube. It had some unblocked stuff. I, that was luck. I mean, plus you know you're not exactly sure of how what computer you're gonna get. I mean, you don't ask what you're gonna get. You just get one. I, do, I, I didn't get on everything. Like I, well, during, actually, that's when quarantine hit, and I was like, "What's up? What's up, everyone? What's up?" I was like, "What's up, everyone?" Because quarantine hit, and I was able to do a lot of things on it. Thanks to the help of technology, we, I was able to connect my computer to my TV using this HDMI cord. Thanks to using this. That's how I was able to make that video with Emily Chastain and the talented Mr. Dylan because, you know, they called me on Teams. Like, for proof, let me show you it. So a lot of y'all have been asking what I think of the internet. And I think the internet is a great place for being social and communicative with people. But sometimes the community itself can be, you know, hurtful sometimes. So you have to be in the right place of communication. Here we are with the beautiful thing itself, a computer. The computer is actually charged by the PC. We got a new PC because our old one kind of broke down. But anyway, normally when our computer broke down, a bunch of bubbles started popping up. I thought it was scary, but then turns out it actually was kind of a good thing. Because I realized my laptop was like, <laughs> sorry about this. This was something Crazy K was doing for her for her graduation. Well, you know, anyway. Well, anyway, they, that's the be big, beautiful globe and whatnot. A printing press also helps out. It helps print print stuff out. You know, imagine if we didn't have this. Imagine. Who we? Let's imagine that. We need 10,000 copies by tomorrow for das Elwood City Book Fair. Schnell! Schnell! <gasps> no! Wow. Tragic. Tragic, I say. Oh, yeah. Here's the can of kit right here. This is the thing that came with the micro bit. But I want to say this is the USB connector. This is the micro bit. This is the box that was holding it. This was actually used for a Mac to plug into your computer for the micro bit. But the rest is actually was actually bags to hold on. But anyway, let's wrap up this video. I want to say I'm thank God we have the internet. Bless it all. Bless it. Well, before we leave, I want to say. A little history fact, they said the internet com came out in the 1960s, but then they also said, like, the internet, like, the full, full, full internet came out in 1980, the 1980, yeah, 1980, they said January 1st, 1980, pretty good, yeah. anyway, I wanted to say, so just and also want to say, have, congratulations to the internet, everyone, congratulations, oh, oh yeah, one more thing, I want to say that, on, I want to do this, on, I should have done this in April, 
but John, thank, thank, let's give a round of applause to John Karen because he was the guy who actually, if it wasn't for him to post the first YouTube video, this wouldn't even be happening. <laughs> give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Give a round of applause. Give a round of applause. Well, anyways, Zosha Zinovers is out.